Hello everyone, um, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I've been a little bit under the weather. Um, it is nighttime and my husband's watching TV in the living room and I just wanted to let you guys know what's been going on since this channel it's about community and you guys to get to go through the journey with me of my chronic illness um, I have been under the weather I've been sick it's been a few weeks now um, I don't know if you guys can tell but I have red patches everywhere I've been very stressed out my anxiety level it's been very high um, so I've been having some stomach issues I can barely eat and when I do my stomach hurts extremely bad um, excuse if you can hear noises but those are my doggies are sleeping and they're sure making noises um, like I was saying I've been having stomach issues uh, when I eat it hurts really bad um, so I went to the doctor and I've been waiting on the results from tests that they've done and sonograms and the doctor gave me some medication for the meantime he is thinking it might be one of two things um, one is I have history of ulcers so I haven't had one in a long time but he thinks this one might be like either a bleeding ulcer or maybe I have gallbladder problems so we haven't figured out yet so I'm still waiting on that so um, he had me eat some greasy foods and see how I digest that and it was no good um, so yeah I've been stressing really bad these past couple weeks has been extremely bad for me so with that said, waiting for the results and uh, trying to calm myself down, which it's been very hard. And um, I don't know if you guys can see, but look at see big red patch. And that's from my anxiety. It like I get like these hives that they're like intense. And um, see right there, my face like they get intense. So, like I was saying, I'm just trying to communicate with you guys and see, um, you know, you guys can uh, know what's going on. And also, if you guys are going through this, know that you're definitely not alone on that. Um, so, since I'm going through a really uh, rough patch, I kind of um, was asking my husband, um, how does it affect him being married to somebody with chronic illness because I thought that question was important because I know that um, some of my viewers are people that take care of somebody with chronic illness or they're married to somebody with chronic illness or they're a friend of somebody with chronic illness and I wanted to see their perspective because obviously I know my side um, a person with chronic illness um, how it feels for me to have chronic illness but I was kind of curious how does it feel for him to have chronic illness um, to be married to somebody with chronic illness and he said that it was very hard for him to tell me how he felt about it uh, a long time ago uh, in the beginning when I got diagnosed um, because he felt a lot of anger he felt depression um, he felt overwhelmed at times a little bit of anxiety um, he felt helplessness stressed out um, he didn't like to tell me because he knew that that's gonna make me feel sad and he knew that that was going to make me feel uh, guilty and that's not what he wanted because he knew that I was going through a lot of problems in my own health in my own mind in my body and he did not want to put more stress on me so he finally we started communicating what well, we always communicated but we communicated about the way that he felt and um, I told him that it was fine for him to tell me and he says that when he gets to that point um, that um, I don't know if you guys have seen a video that I said when your cup gets full and then you overflow when his 
overflowed it that and he's going to tell me that he is angry and that he needs to take a breather a break um, and that's very important um, so I figured um, that it was important for us to talk about that because us with chronic illness we are, are battling our own bodies and going through a lot of stuff during the day and at nighttime and sometimes it's hard to think about the other person if the other person needs a break or the other person um, it's not there for us then we feel like oh they're abandoning us or whatever the case may be and I think that us uh, chronic illness people should uh, need or should uh, or should uh, validate feelings and not make them feel guilty and um, validate the feelings of our loved ones you know case may be husband wife friend brother sister whatever the case may be um, that we need to validate their feelings the way that they feel that, that we need to let them feel frustrated we need to let them vent we need to let them tell us when they get upset because I think that it's important because if we need um, them to validate our feelings, like when we're frustrated or we want to cry or we're depressed, I think that um, it is hard, but I think that we need to validate people's feelings. I think that uh, if you want somebody to validate your feelings or acknowledge the way that you feel, then it is very important that you needed to validate somebody else's feelings and the way that they feel and not make them feel guilty for it that is the key important part you can't make them feel guilty if you do want somebody to make you feel guilty I don't know if I'm making sense but I do remember growing up and then people saying you should treat people the way that you want to be treated and actually I do agree with that um, it is very hard to validate people's feelings, especially when you're going through a lot and you're stressing out and you're having panic attacks and your body hurts and you can care less what they're going through because you're going through a lot. And I, by any means, I'm not saying that you don't care about them. I'm just saying that sometimes when you're in the storm, it's like, no, you need to understand what I'm going, coming from. But at the same time, we need to understand that the people that are with us and they're going through it with us they're also going through that storm. They're also going through a lot and they're also going to need a break and they're also going to need emotional support. And I think that for us as chronic illness people do need to give them that emotional support however it is. So it is important to have that communication open and discuss with them and figure out how can you support them and a emotional level or whatever that case may be in your case for them to either vent or for you to be there for them because I think that me as a mom and as a wife I want to feel needed and I want to be there for my family and I want to be there emotionally physically and everything so when I cannot do certain things I still want them to come to me because that's why I'm here for and it is very important to me to be there for my family in any way that I can. And if today I can only give you a hug and be supportive and rub your back, then that's how I'm going to support you in that moment. So I just want to make sure that you guys um, keep that in mind and give you guys a couple pointers, you know. I know that uh, life is hard and also understand that it's like, it's hard for them too. You're also not going through it alone because your family members are there with you and your loved ones so anyways as soon as I get results and anything else I will let you guys know and I hope that you guys like this video and I'm gonna keep this short so I love you guys and remember life is an adventure you're not alone and I love you and I will see you in the next one bye bye